platinum rank is probably one of the hardest ranks to get out of. But now you're stuck in diamonds and you're trying to get out of it. So right now, I am currently sat at 92% in diamond three. So if we head into this game, hopefully we'll be able to rank up. I'll be going through a bunch of different techniques to help you get out of diamonds and hopefully bring you up into elite, champion, or even unreal. All right, so one thing that I recommend for all you players to have, if you haven't already, is have a dedicated landing spot. Personally, I like to land over this little mansion over here. It has a vault and the back house has six chests if you get the vault as well. So that's why I love this spot. And usually a lot of people don't contest me. You might get like one or two players a game or you might even get no one. So right now I think two players are landing on me. So hopefully I can just win this off spawn. But I feel confident over here in spawn since I land here quite a lot. So there's a shotgun right on the reef and it looks like I've got the best drop. So I'm going to try grab that before these guys. So let's go ahead, grab the shotgun. And boom, just like that, I got the shotgun. I'm going to go down to the vault area, which is right here. So boom, there's the boss. All right, we just got the boss. Just try to get some shield quickly. Right, there we go. We just got the vault. So let's please give me some shield off spawn game. All right, off the spawn, I've got really good loot. So this means that I will be able to go in strong to these fights. So let's go ahead and see where these guys are. Boom, there's one kill off spawn. Nice, let's go. All right, so I have captured this whole POI. So this means I can just go through, loot up what I need and also try to get the best loot possible. So let's go ahead, just get this present and then we can just rotate out of here. And ooh, a little purple SMG. Yes, please. All right, I think somebody's coming over here as well. I just heard the zip line. Boom, another little kill off the spawn. I also got a lag spike. That was kind of scary. Since I have the protection of those two kills, this means that I can just kind of chill and just play passive for now on and try to get all the other loot that I can. All right, so as you can see, a bunch of the radar towers have spawned around the map. Unfortunately, none of them are close by me, so I don't think I'll get them this time. But if you guys go up to them and then kill the boss and then use the radar tower, all right, it looks like there's a guy on me. Yes, let's go. We got the kill and I'm on Litzy 3 HP. This is so scary. I just need to try to find more heals right now. That was a very bad fight. I've got like no heals at all. All right, come on. Let's just keep going. Why do I never get anything good from these fishing spots? Like just give me a flopper. Another very good way of actually going up percentage is by getting loot caches. So right over here at this big blue marker, there is loot cache. So I'm going to quickly head over here, see if anybody's there. Keep on going. Come on, go, go, go. I don't think anybody's over here. Okay, so this game is actually emptied out very fast. There's only 14 people remaining. So I'm going to try to get this loot cache before all of these players start closing in on me. All right, so right now I'm in a very good position in this game. I've got amazing loot. I just need a little bit more mats and then we will be perfect for end game. So all I'm going to try to do now is try to get the loot island. So the loot island is just starting to spawn in right now. It is quite far away, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it because it is 680 meters away. So let's just head over this direction and hopefully we can actually claim the loot island. But usually you will probably realize in these stages of ranked, a lot of people are going to be going for this and it is, it is very contested if you guys are trying to go on the loot island so just spawned in so we gotta go as fast as we can if we actually want to get this come on all right so we are now top 10 so obviously getting the placements that's going to give you more percentage so i think right now if we just keep on surviving this game if i were to die right now i would probably be in a late rank right now but i'm just going to go ahead try and maximize as much as i can so i'm not too sure if anybody's actually out loot island yet um it's like very mid zone so let's just keep going and possibly we might be able to claim it all right come on we're so close come on let's get up and loot island go 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 Okay, I don't know if anybody else is up here. Let's see. I know nobody else is up here, so I'm quickly just going to build here and try to claim this thing. Okay, is it bugged or something? Okay, there we go. Now let's start claiming loot islands. What I like to do whenever I'm about loot islands, I like to just box it around a few times because if somebody was to rush you, this means that I've got a bunch of this already in my place. I don't think anybody else is trying to contest this right now, so that would be great. The good thing about loot island as well, if you get the 15 points, you're also most likely to get high ground. So right now, I can just chill up here. We've got the high ground. And if anybody tries to rush me, we have the advantage. So I see the trend on there, but I don't know if anybody's claimed the chest. I think it has been claimed. 
But all we can do is just sit here. We've got max heights. I think somebody is, might be trying to contest it now. The good thing about Loot Island as well is that you guys can find so much more loot inside of the house. If you guys are low on mats, there's good mats everywhere. So if we want to maximize the amount of percentage I can get, all I need to do is try to get the win or more kills. So right now there's a guy over there. Let's just try to get a little third party. All right, so just like that, I now have basically full mats except for metal. That's why getting the island is amazing. And there's also just amazing loot like this around the place. Little presents. Boom, just one thing in endgame. I recommend all of you guys to try and play a little bit passive because the people inside of the endgame are probably going to be the better players of the lobby. So I do recommend for you guys to kind of just play passive, use your mats, and just try stay out of the fights until it gets to the moving zones or even the smaller circles because everybody starts to panic whenever it's all the smaller circles. And then that gives you the advantage of, obviously, just shooting the players. So I think there's a bunch of people fighting over there. So I'm just going to get an early advantage by going in and getting mid zone, which is right over here. And then we could just shoot the people as they're trying to get in the zone. There's currently eight players remaining. So we got this. I think there's also a guy right here. So if we can just grab hype before this guy, might be able to just get a nice little shot off on him. Yes, let's go. That guy tried to get me, but we got him. Let's go. All right, there's currently seven people left. We've got max mats right now. So let's just get our way into the zone again. And we can also get a nice little height advantage once we get in the zone. One sixteen, nice. That guy's weak. Oh, let's go. Nice little snipe. Another little kill. Easy little pickup. All right, we are now chilling. There's four people left. We've now on six kills. We've got so much percentage this game, and we also got zone advantage. So right now, I'm literally just playing high, waiting for these guys to get low, and then once they do, we can easily just get the little picks of them. So I think we're in zone here, so we might be chilling. No, are you kidding me? We died to storm. I didn't realize I was so weak and we died to storm. All right, well, let's just see. I know for a fact we are up in a leap by playing that game. We played so well, so let's go ahead and see. All right, and just like that, we got six eliminations and we are now in elite rank. Let's go. Boom, it's so nice to see that. And we also went up quite a decent amount. We are now 30% in elite. All right, and just like that, we are now in elite rank. Finally, we did it. Let's go. So yeah, those are a bunch of tips that will help you get up the diamond rank in Fortnite. I recommend that you guys go ahead and try to claim all those things. So those will help you get up a bunch of extra free percentage because I know it definitely helps me out because they're pretty easy to get. But comment down below what rank you are. I would love to see what rank you guys are and let me know if you're actually progressing or not. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And make sure to use supporter critical flux in your item shop. Hashtag ads.